everyone, John here with our family follow-up from Sunday, October the 2nd. And so this Sunday in Sunday School, we actually focused our lesson uh, from the psalm reading, from the psalm that we read in church, from Psalm 37, and we focused on verses 1 through 4. And the main point of our lesson with the kiddos was that the Bible tells us to focus on God and focus on doing good. Uh, this is a really important lesson, just really practical for the kids, because very often, um, you know, people will do things that are wrong. And when we get distracted by people who are making bad choices, we miss out on actually doing what's right and doing what God has called us to do. Because we're so focused on the negative and we are so focused on people doing things that we don't think they should be doing that we miss out on doing the right thing ourselves and following what God has called us to do. And we see this a lot, you know, it's very relatable to the kids in the lesson. We set up like a fake little classroom and one of them got to be the mischievous student that was doing what was wrong. And, and, and we set up a whole little scenario that's very relatable to them because kids just innately have a sense of fair and unfair, right and wrong. And they can get very distracted when, when somebody is doing something that seems wrong. And so rather than focusing on the task at hand and focusing on what God wants them to do, they can get sucked in to the fact that somebody is doing something wrong or unfair. And so what we encourage them to do was, uh, rather than getting sucked into the negativity and focusing on that, like this psalm says, to focus on the good, on doing good, and focus on God. Now we're going to take just a moment and we're going to uh, break down the psalm for us, just these four verses. It'll only take a moment, uh, but just to give you a little more background on the psalm as you uh, review this lesson with your kids. So we'll start with verses 1 through 2. Fret not yourselves because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. So here, the psalmist is telling us, don't worry, like I just said in, in, from the main point of our lesson, don't worry about when people are doing wrong. Don't focus on the negative. And why? Because they're going to wither and go away. Right? And the reason for this, well, there's two reasons why the evildoers will wither and go away. The first reason is just practically, right? God has ordered our world in such a way that when we live according to his precepts in general, our lives will go better, right? It doesn't mean that just because you do all the right things, life always works out hunky-dory. Bad things still happen to good people. But in general, we know those extenuating circumstances notwithstanding, if we follow God's good designs, our lives will be more blessed and run more smoothly than if we don't. And so what happens when we make bad choices and when we're evildoers is eventually the house of cards that is our life will collapse, right? So that's one way that they'll fade, right? If you do, you know, a few shady business deals where you rip people off, you might get ahead in the moment, but over time, people won't want to work with you and your business will collapse, right? And so that's one way. That's the first way, just very practically, that the evildoers will wither. The second way is that nobody gets away with anything, right? Ultimately, uh, God is the judge and God knows what we've done and God does bring judgment on wrongdoers, right? Which is why all of us in one sense are, are wrongdoers who so all need forgiveness, right? But nothing gets past God. He's the ultimate judge, right? And he will judge justly um, in, in the world to come. So we can have confidence and know that we don't need to worry about the evildoers, the wrongdoers. Um, we should focus on doing good, focus on God because they're going to be taken care of, so to speak, right? They will wither like the grass, the psalmist says. And then verse 37, not only don't focus on the negative, but trust in God and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness, right? So he's told us not to focus on the negative, not to focus on the evildoers, but then in a positive light, focus on doing good, focus on trusting God. That's where we should put our focus. And then uh, verse four, delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. And that could really sound like a prosperity gospel thing, right? If you just trust in God enough, then you're going to have health, wealth, and prosperity. Um, but that's really not what this psalm is saying. Instead, what it's saying is that when you trust in God and you delight in the things that God wants you to do, when you delight in the Lord and, and you want to follow his will, when you want to follow his law, he will change our hearts in such a way that that we find joy and that the life that he has called us to will be a life that fits the desires of our hearts. And so the beautiful thing is that when we, instead of focusing on the evildoers, focus on doing good and focus on God, we find a life that fulfills the deepest desires of our hearts. It's a way to live a very blessed life. So that's a little breakdown for us of the, of the Psalm, Psalm 34 
one through four. And I think it's an important lesson for the kiddos, just really practically in their life, uh, you know, from now um, all the way up through, not to get so worried about all the nonsense happening off to the side, but instead focus on what they can control, focus on making good choices for themselves, focus on in their own life, um, trusting in God and delighting in God. So in the rest of our family um, discipleship plan for the week, as always, we've got a little bit from the catechism in here um, to help fill you in. And then we have devotions to, to have family discussion time around uh, the rest of this lesson uh, to help you, uh, your kids and also your family as a whole wrestle with this idea of focusing on doing good and focusing on God. Well, hey, I hope this video is a blessing to you guys as you seek to disciple your children this week. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.